What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors, new video and today I'm going to talk about Czech Republic's Czechia's song which will represent them at Eurovision 2023, My Sister's Crown from Vesna, which I have spent more than one month actually with. Mm. Let's talk. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm very glad you're here, I'm very glad that you are willing to listen to my thoughts my impressions, my feelings towards any kind of song which is crossing my mind and I'm doing video about, which is basically Eurovision song. And today I'm going to talk about Vesna song My Sister's Crown, who's going to represent Czechia at Eurovision 2023. And of course, I have spent a lot, a lot, a lot of, lot of time about this song in my head to talk about a bit differently than I was from my first impressions, kind of because with this song i have a very specific very specific relationship first of all it's a czech song so i'm always like well not to say too much about it because i'm superstitious about it so i don't want to really hype it too much i don't want as well say like it's not really good first of all that won't be true let's say it really openly and open it up this song is great for the First time we have a very different kind of song. It's not a pop song. It's not a, or it kind of is, but it's not a you know typical English American style of music. It's something else. It's different. It's because of this Slavic vibes in it, which is basically not very used. We're not used to have such songs or such vibes in music in Czech Republic, basically. So it's very original in the way what's happening on our own musical scene, which was a shock for me when I first heard it. It was like, yeah, this is great because of its musicality, of its empowerment, of its strength, of its absolute fluent combination of language mashup, basically, languages mashup, where are Ukrainian, Bulgarian, English and Czech lyrics infused into the song completely fluidly it just really works together it's absolutely perfect and it's not disturbing anything you know sometimes it's happening i had this problem with croatia when i understand some lyrics and they're just sound stupid it's just completely kill me off from the song like completely like really that that's the fact in here nothing is the point of disturbance it doesn't disturbing me it isn't disrupting me i'm listening to it i'm listening to it every day and i'm always like this is not a problem for me in the song which of course has its good sides and bad sides pros and cons of course which i'm going to talk about it later in this video but i must say that musically especially in studio version this song is perfect it has no weak spot like really for me personally doesn't have it has a great development of the song the dramaturgy of the song is great lyrics are fantastic i would say which is not my basically normal point but they are great the whole musicality of the song just works in a great waves which are just constructed in a way that they are no standing that long that they're starting to be annoying and they are that greatly done that you are waiting for every and each moment of the song to start and i think this is kind of unique and it's unique for the songs which are we basically making in czech republic in general even the songs which were sent to eurovision recently or in recent years this is probably the best song in the way how it's constructed because it's it has like every single part of it it's strong i have no doubts about it this is my opinion and it it's very very strong so in my headphones this songs play i said in my previous videos that it start to be a bit rustier but the thing is that this is the song i'm listening for the most time the longest time probably in my headphones as well and it's just too much maybe so sometimes i'm skipping it it's not because i don't like it it's because i'm just overhearing it and basically i'm trying to empty some space in here to have chance to talk about live performances which of course happened in national selection but of course it's happening right now in pre-parties i saw one pre-party it, it was warsaw pre-party and i think it was the first pre-party and what was my biggest concern and it's always my biggest concern how studio version differs from the live version and in this case i would say it differs a lot it's a huge difference alongside with studio version which is absolutely perfect it has no weak point nothing which you can just say this 
it's not the real moment this is not the this is a part which i don't like that much no i like i like really all of them and in the studio version all of them are perfect in live performance that's a different story but of course that is a matter of change hopefully for eurovision 2023 live performances and of course three parties doesn't really have the best sound engineering but the Czech national selection actually had a very good one in compared to what can artists expect at pre-parties. And honestly, even there, if there is no back vocal backline behind the behind the whole performance, the performance itself would be considered very weak. And I'm saying it because I like the song and I feel this is the weakest spot is the live performance first of all more people singing singing in different languages and make it all work together live it's not that easy process so i think check television's sound producer whoever they have for this should really consider this and think about it and think about how to make all those lines feel they are basically one body because now it's like four people or three people singing in very different accents in very different melodies and it just doesn't click it doesn't really work that perfect mixed together like in studio version it just feels like three people are basically at the karaoke kind of and it doesn't really work especially i would say that the lead singer should really improve how to do it and it's it's it's, it's a critique which which basically is seen as well in the pre-party which i saw the live performance of course it's not the 100 percent outcome but i think i have experience to really see what's happening on stage as well and if this won't improve i think that all the expectations people putting in the song will be will be will be teared down a bit because I think that it doesn't really matter that much for the qualification chances because only people are voting and people... I, I don't think the people really consider how, how artists think if it's not really, really terrible. If it's like this, okay, average, they will send it through to the finals. But in the finals, I think the result can be... if nothing improved very similar to the one in last year because then the song loses its power the power in the voice the power of sending the message it has and the message is strong and this message i would say it's as well very understandable acceptable you know it's anti-war song i would say anti-russian song as well anti-russian in the way of the russian government anti-war which is held by Russia. It's about sovereignty, about freedom, about no one's putting you in the corner, no one's putting your crown down. You are free, you can do whatever you want, you can decide by yourself your own destiny. Basically, this is it, and it's a great message. It's a great message made in very awesome, smart lyrics, which I really adore. I think lyrically, this song is on top, and I'm not a huge fan of understanding lyrics or even feel them when, I, when I'm when i hearing the song, or especially when I hear it for the first time. I'm a guy who really enjoys melody first. Melody first? Guy? Well, that's weird. Anyway, I enjoy the lyrics in here too much that i really adore the person who wrote them because they're smart they have the message they're not you know straightforward they're just written cleverly they sound great even in all those languages it sounds great even i don't understand ukrainian or bulgarian it just sounds greatly with a great power and this message is i think very important to come through everybody smart enough understands which direction it goes and i i adore it and i'm very proud that such song represents czechia right really really i'm proud Whenever I'm talking about it it, it, it it makes me a bit sad, a bit, a bit crying. Because I think for for Czechs, this is extremely important topics. Maybe I'm living in such bubble, but uh, definitely from the people I know around, and I think the majority of the people in Czech Republic, this topic is extremely important, extremely sensitive, and we are very supportive. Uh, to Ukraine also because we feel that everybody needs its own freedom whatever it means and nobody has to be told what they should do whatever it means but nobody should be told this by a person a neighbor who should care just about their own you know especially if they have their own problem with the violence and whatsoever but uh, this is topic for probably another video basically as well for another channel 
but this is the strength this is the huge strength huge pro of this of this song which basically doesn't have a weak spot anywhere else i'm very curious what the live performance at eurovision will be what staging it will be how it's gonna look i have high hopes for the team that they create something as well great as they've done at eurovision last year i'm really looking forward to it i'm really looking forward that the team and vesna the band they will really improve their vocals their harmony in the band which doesn't really work now as well the lead singers performance the harmony into the whole song implementation because now it doesn't really work as well sometimes it it's not a clear singing it, it it's 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 more like yelling so so this definitely must be improved because especially this year i really feel we have super strong year in the way of how artists can articulate their songs and the charisma which goes through their voices and that's every everything what i've said is missing in the song in live performance whether it's in escz where it's in pre party it's just kind of missing even the song the material the raw material which czechia will be working with is almost a clear and polished diamond do you say clear and polished diamond actually what do you say about the diamonds in english it doesn't really matter what matters it's your opinions you can write them in the comments below because i'm very curious what you think about the chances of czechia and speaking of chances, if they're going to sing it perfectly, the song the song will help the whole band to carry the message out. They will do and have a great result. I think great result. If this won't change, it won't be a good result. Or it will be a final and in the final not a good result. I would say that's my prediction. But maybe you have as well a different one. So write me in the comments below as well. Where do you think Czechia will place if they're going to finals? Because I think they will. That would be a huge, biggest surprise of the year probably if they want. But I think they will. I really have, you know, all my fingers crossed for it. And I can't wait to see it. And I can't wait for your subscription. Thumbs up and watching my other videos because there are plenty songs which i want to make one month later plenty songs even yours so keep on watching ring the notification bell hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and share it among your friends because sharing is caring yeah i've said it why not you're not even watching those endings of the videos anyway so i can say basically whatever and now i'm saying goodbye thank you for watching bye